Animal Cruelty Law and Constitutional Protections and Guarantees, Part 1. Okay, here comes the dry and boring stuff that many of us slept through or tossed spitwads through in our government classes. But if you don't put some skin in the game now, you will not be prepared when they come to raid you. And if you think that can never happen to you, think again. Hundreds of these raids have been sparked by nothing more than a phone call to your local sheriff or police chief from an angry neighbor, a disgruntled employee, an estranged spouse, or a jealous competitor alleging animal cruelty. That is all it took to instigate a raid, and the next thing you know, your animals are gone, and you're standing there bewildered, confused, and not knowing what to do. So we can't say it enough. It is time to discipline yourself to become educated to the law being used to control your life, your rights, and your protections. It is your best defense. Over the past several decades, animal cruelty laws have been created by state legislatures, instigated mainly by nonprofit animal welfare groups with the Humane Society of the United States, HSUS, leading the charge. The language of these state laws is very similar in most states. Since we have been covering the recent February 9th, 2018 theft of Longhorn cattle by Hill County, Texas, we will begin looking at the animal cruelty statutes for Texas. You are encouraged to find the animal cruelty statutes for your state and compare the language of your state statutes with the animal cruelty statutes of Texas. Most animal owners have no clue where to find the animal cruelty statutes for their state, and only after they become a victim of a raid do they begin to learn just what the statutes say. We encourage all animal owners to become very familiar with the exact language of your state's animal cruelty statutes, as well as learn and know your constitutional protections and guarantees. It is not enough to simply say, they have to have a warrant to come on my property, you must know what the law says to better protect and defend yourself, your animals, and ultimately your real property. To better understand what statutes, codes, and regulations are, check out the short video at the link below. To further add to the vulnerability of animal owners to attacks, raids, made by animal welfare groups, most animal owners simply don't know the protections and guarantees they have under both the Constitution for the United States of America and their own state constitution. For this series, we will study both the U.S. Constitution and the Texas state constitution. You are encouraged to find your own state constitution and compare it with the protections and guarantees of the U.S. Constitution. If you don't take the time to get a handle on just what your protections and guarantees are, then you can only blame you when you are made a victim of a raid. And remember, it is no longer if you will be raided by voracious animal welfare organizations. It is now when will you be raided and made a victim. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay informed. Till next time, thanks for watching. The Animal News Network creates videos for commentary, criticism, teaching, and news reporting, and as such, makes use of copyrighted material under the Fair Use Act of 1976 and makes no claim to any copyrighted material used. Fair Use Copyright Disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair Use Definition Fair use is a doctrine in United States copyright law that allows limited use of copyrighted material without requiring permission from the rights holders, such as commentary, criticism, news reporting, research, teaching, or scholarship. It provides for the legal, non-licensed citation or incorporation of copyrighted material in another author's work under a four-factor balancing test.